Spider is not an insect. It has eight legs and likes to eat insects. It is a spider! The wind blows and the spider flies. Look, Kiki! The spider is flying! <laughs> a spider can't fly. What? But why is the spider floating in the air? Let's take a closer look. A spider is hanging on the thin spider silk. When the wind blows, the spider sways as if it is flying in the air. Wow! Spider silk, awesome! Quacky, do you know where the spider silk comes from? Oh, is it spit out from the spider's mouth? That's not correct. Let's check out where the spider, the spider silk is extruded from the abdomen of the spider. You're right. There are spinnerets on a spider's abdomen that extrude sticky mucus. The mucus turns into spider silk in the air. Oops, the spider silk is all sticking together. <laughs> this spider is spinning a web. Spinning a web? Kids, let's spin a web with the spider. The spider web is finished. You are awesome. Wow, the spider web looks great. The spider web is very useful. Aw, look. A spider web is sticky. The spider web can stick to insects and keep them from escaping when they get into it. Then the spider ties up the insects and enjoys a delicious meal. A spider is so smart! Let's check out how Mr. Spider catches insects! Tap the insect and catch it! Wow! A big insect! Let's tie it up! Wow! You've got a big insect! You've got a big insect! Wow! You've got a big insect! <laughs> Quacky, what have you learned in this lesson? Oh! Spider silk is extruded from the abdomen of a spider! A spider can use spider silk to spin a web! A spider catches insects with the spider web. All correct. Quack, 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 quack. Kids, have you got it? Quack. What's this? Hello, is anyone home? Oh no! <laughs> Let's check out what this animal is. Activate! A shell on the back. Soft body. Antenna on the head. Snail. A snail is not an insect. It is a mollusk with a hard shell on the back. The body of the snail is so soft and the shell is hard. You're right. A snail's shell is like its house. In the face of danger, the snail will hide in the shell. Big house. Quacky also wants it. Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> Kiki, look! I also have a big house! <laughs> Quacky, how does it feel to carry a house on your back? Oh, 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 so heavy. Quacky is so tired. The snail must be really tired with a shell on its back all the time. Let's help it put the shell down. Quacky, no! Quack. Why? Why? There is something very important 
hiding in a snail's shell. What is it? What is it? Tap the snail shell and see what is inside. Look, the snail shell is not just an empty shell. It is connected with the soft body and internal organs of the snail. If the shell is taken away, the snail will get hurt and die. This small shell is of great importance, and a snail can't live without it. You're right. Look, Kiki. The snail carries the round shell and eats leaves. Let's observe and check out how a snail eats. Huh? How does a snail eat? When eating, a snail sticks out its tongue to scrape the food and put it back in the mouth. A snail has many sharp little teeth on its tongue to break up the food. A snail sticks out its tongue and scrapes the food. That's interesting. <laughs> Quacky, look. What does a snail leave behind when it crawls? Quack? What is that? This is the slime produced by a snail when it's crawling. The slime makes the ground more lubricated and helps the snail move. Quack? Amazing! Kiki! The snail is gone! Where has it been? Don't worry! Look, it has left a trail! Let's follow the trail and find out where the snail is! Follow the white trail and you can find the snail! The snail is eating leaves! There are more snails nearby! Let's keep searching! When a snail is scared, it will retract into its shell for protection. There are more snails nearby. Let's keep searching. The snail is climbing a tree. Wow, you found so many snails. You're great. Quacky, what have you learned about the snail? Oh, in the face of danger, the snail will retract into its shell. A snail has teeth on its tongues, and it sticks out tongues to scrape the food. A snail produces slime when crawling. That's great! Quacky is so clever. Quack, 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 quack. Kids, have you got it? <coughs> the grass has grown so tall. The grass hasn't grown tall. It's us! We've become smaller! Wah! Look! An army of ants! We've become smaller, so the tiny ants look huge! That's right! Let's learn about ants first! A large abdomen A small thorax Antenna on the head Six legs on the body Ant An ant is a tiny insect its body is divided into three parts, with two antennae and six legs. Lots of ants gather to form such a long line. Ants are social animals. They communicate with each other through their antenna. When an ant finds food, it will summon its friends, so they can carry the food back to their nest. The tiny ants are carrying big stuff! Yes, ants are exceptionally strong. They can carry the food that is 50 times their body weights. Oh, isn't that amazing? Of course. Let's see how strong an ant can be. This is one ant. Here are four ants. Look, an ant can lift 50 ants. It indeed has great strength. Wow, ants are fantastic. Do you know where the ants are taking the food? Oh, back to the nest? Right. The ants have a huge nest underground, and they're carrying the food there. Let's check it out. Where should we put this food? That's right. Let's continue carrying the food. The nest has gotten bigger. There's more space for food. Keep going. Let's continue carrying the food. 
all the food is in the nest. Well done. Quacky, what have you learned about the ant? Oh, ants communicate with each other through their antenna. They are super, super strong. Ants carry food to their underground nests. You're right. Which medal should the camel get? Medal for strong warrior. Medal for master of heat. Medal for master of cold. Medal for strong warrior. Ants can carry the food that is 50 times their body weights. This medal for strong warrior goes to the ant. Good job. Let's get some practice.